In this video, we're going to talk about general concept of application. When you decide to have an application, you need to think about what I have to say now. Okay, this video is for those who are planning or in the process of having their own application. So, first, let's talk about terminology. The word application is there even before technology exists. It is there in the daily use of all the systems that we have, whether in the hospital, the food business, and uh, bank systems. Even though there is there was no any any PC or computer, but you, when you go to there, when you go there, you have an application to fill. So application is there. So today what we see in terms of technology use, it is only a use to ease the process, but it is not what it is. So a backend application is not an app, okay? The app is part of that process. So technology is there to ease the process, okay? So your application, you have, when you decide to have an application, you have two choices. The first choice is to go with the easier choice. Whether you're going to take it free, you can take it free, or you can take it as a product. Okay? If you're going to take it free, it means you just can sign up and take it. If it is at the core of your business, you're going to face problems. But if it is not at the core of your business, it's okay. If it is a product, companies, when they create a product, they cannot, if it is impossible to create a product that targets all the segments and all the communities. It is impossible. Companies know that. Okay? Even some companies, they tell you that this application, if it's an accounting or something like this, this application is specified for these countries. We don't support these countries. They say like this. You can check in uh, some companies, they, 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 they say exactly this. Okay? So, why is this easy and free? And maybe the product is cheap. Why it is that? Because they decide the how. They decide the how. How it, should, how, how it should look, how it should feel, how the details has to be, if it is an accounting software, what accounting management methodology and they can use to build the software, what details and process that it should have. All this is going to be decided by them. If you apply, adhere to their uh, view of application, then it's fine. This is, this is something you can, you can take. But even though some, some clients will, will face the problem of different needs and, and, and different environment, especially if this product is coming from a different country, you can go to that country, let's like suppose if you go to if you go to France and you find a good company there and they have a good product for let's say uh, accounting and you, you, you can see uh, satisfied customers and good support and all that but if you take that product to out to another country you, you will not get the support and it might not be built at your standards because your need and your standards are different okay but if you are someone who is in France and you can you you talk this product in France, it is okay. Okay? But even though you will miss that it is not maintainable, okay, if you, if you take it outside of its comfort zone, if, you, if it is an application, uh, let's say a product in France, you took it to another country, you are taking it 
outside of the concept of, uh, of it is comfort zone. Okay. So what you're gonna face is you don't have maintainability. No maintenance. Okay. Okay, what if the product is inside France and you are in France and you have all the support for the company? Then you are dependent on this company. Still, you are dependent, okay, it is good, it's it's match your needs, it you have the same uh, situations, the same scenarios, and it is still working perfect, but still it is you are dependent to this to this company. You have dependency because this product it, it is a dependency for you and for this product to work then you are dependent on this company. Okay. Again, if it is okay, no problem because it depends how uh, deep is your need a requirement. If it is at the core of your business, it will not be comfortable, especially if your business is big. But if it is a secondary need, then it is okay. Nothing is wrong. This is good and this is good. Nothing is wrong. But you have to understand what is your need and what you can get. Basically, we are using a daily basis like for myself, I'm using Gmail, no problem. Uh, of course, this is not my own service. Uh, I don't own anything, but still, you know, this is my data that I'm using, no problem. Because it is not at the core of my business. This video is, uh, uh, I'm using YouTube, but it is not at the core of my business. It is a secondary way, a secondary channel, that's it. But if I am a video producer, like, like a company like YouTube, I cannot open a YouTube account. Like suppose Vimo cannot be existed if it is a YouTube channel. This cannot be. If you are doing the same thing, then that means you have to have your separate your own thing. And then you have to go to the hardware. If this is at the core of your business, you have no way other than going to the hardware. Okay? Till you can own maybe nothing for the product, only your data. Up to maybe 50%. Okay, especially if you are paying for the product, they can give you that say, okay, we have, you can change this, you can change it, but it will not go up over the 50%. Okay? Here, you own 100% of what you paid for. Okay? It is hard, it is expensive to build, but it is easy to make. Easy. It is easy to maintain. They okay. are expensive but maintainable and it is easy to maintain. Especially in some cases where you want to extend your business and you have lots of traffic, then you can you can see the the, the interest you made when you took the hard way and made the expensive choice to make your own thing the way exactly you want it. This way, once you reach to that place, you, you can see through your own eyes that the maintenance cost is almost done. So, these are the ways to uh, build an application. Both are correct. Nothing is wrong. Well, I don't know. nothing is wrong, but it is your choice, whether it is at the core of your need or not. Okay? So, if you have multiple applications, if you have multiple applications, then you are talking about the system. If you have a single application, then it's not its own application. Okay? What is the difference between having an application and having a system. When you have an application, you're having something to do something. Okay, you have a goal, an SMS application, an email application, a video application, an editing application. 
It's an obligation to do something. Okay, an order of communication, you are ordering all right, that's it. But what if you have multiple needs and multiple applications? Then you have to, you have to start from a system level. That you have, you have to have a system that integrates with all those applications. And again, you have the choice either to go in a general way or a specialized way. From the way I see it in different companies I worked, it is always more painful to go the easy way in the long term and more comfortable to go the socialized way, the hard way, but it always depends on the core need. What is your need? Is it at the core level or not? That is your decision.